Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American gold seal production. Professor Porter and his party, seeking his lost daughter Jane, are captured by cannibals. To escape annihilation, they gain refuge in the sacred temple cave of the tribe, taking the native witch doctor with them. Tarzan, who has rescued Jane from the jungle's perils, tries to help the professor, but is driven off by the arrows of the blacks. Inside the cave, Lieutenant Darno tries to extract from the witch doctor the secret of how to get out of the cavern. Later, they find the witch doctor apparently dead. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath! Dead? Ce n'est pas possible, monsieur. I... We did not harm him. No. It would take more than we did to kill that witch doctor. Nevertheless, he's dead. Mais non, monsieur. I perceive that he is not dead. He is in a trance. A self-imposed trance. You mean a state of suspended animation? Self-hypnosis? Yes, yes. I've heard that such a thing was practiced by some of these tribes, but this man certainly looks dead. And if what Darno says is correct, he might as well be dead, for all the use he is to us. Yes. It'll be as difficult to learn the secret of the way out of here from the wretch as it would be if he were dead. I do not know about that. At least... I am going to try drastic remedies. What, may I ask? I am going to bleed him. But Dono, he may die. What if he does? He got us into this mess. If he does die, we won't be any worse off than we are with him in this blooming trance. No. Oh, no, I have no sympathy with the witch doctor. Uh, no more as I, Clayton. Uh, but remember, if he dies, we are liable never to get out of here. To attempt to bleed him, when none of us is a surgeon, seems a little short. Of murder. I do not look at it in that way, monsieur. It is his life or ours. And since the witch doctor trapped us in here, well, I personally feel that we have the right to try the experiment at least. I, for one, do not propose to die just because it's unethical to force this blighter to lead us out. Uh, monsieur Clayton has right, uh, but don't you think we could postpone the operation? He may come out of this man. Uh, no, monsieur. He can throw himself into one of these pits as often as he pleases. And we shall die of starvation or suffocation. Suffocation? But there seems to be plenty of fresh air. Yeah. Nevertheless, this cavern is nothing but a huge lava tube. The whole place is honeycombed with similar volcanic tubes and blues. We never know the moment that some disturbance may fill this place with sulfurous fumes. And that is true, Tavno. In fact, already I have noticed a, a choking sensation. Uh, and it's getting warmer in here. I'm going to examine this cabin. The fact that there is a current of fresh air, even with the entrance to the cave blocked up, convinces me that there must be another exit somewhere. Some uh, uh, more disturbance outside, Darno? Do you suppose this immediately will come to look for the witch doctor? Hang on. Uh, I, I cannot hear what they are shouting about. I am going up to the front of the cabin where I can hear. Can you make out what they're saying, Darno? Uh, something about the white devil god setting fire to one of the huts and killing a native. Then perhaps Tarzan of the Apes tried to draw them away from here in order to rescue us. Hello, Porter! Rolando! Can you hear me? Uh, what is it? Yes! Uh, where are you? On a sort of balcony. It runs around three sides of the cave, as nearly as I can tell. Are there any signs of light? No! But the air is purer here, and that's contrary to what it should be. Yes, the air ought to be purer here, below. Medicinois, how did you get up there? By a stairway. You'll find it at the second turning, a hole in the rock. Throw through. All right, coming. We'll be right with you. <laughs> and enveloping falls over the jungle, save where the torches of the blacks throw a shifting and uncertain light. 
The big cats begin their nightly prowl in search of food. Numa, the lion, hungry, angry, makes for the water hole. Sheeta, the leopard, sleek, glossy, and cunning, slinks through the tall bamboo. From the fringe of the forest, Dango, the hyena, calls to his brothers that here by the cave is meat. Meat for the taking, the kind that Dango likes. Meat that does not have to be fought for. A kill made possible by the bravery of others. High in the treetops, Jane and Tarzan watch the natives who have been left to guard the cave. Natives who only a short time before have tried to kill them, and who, if they had so much as a chance, would kill them now at sight. Yes, Jane? If, if Father and Cecil and the others do manage to get out of the cave, these natives will, will kill them. There are too many for them. Yes. But father no come out of cave. What do you mean, Tarzan? If father could come out of cave, he come out before now. Father not wait night time before come out. Yes, I suppose that is true. They would have come out right away if they could. If the blacks would only go away, then we might do something to help father and the others. Pretty soon they go away, the Goldman Ganny. Why? What makes you think so? Why will they go away? A little more dark, Tarzan kill. But, but Tarzan, you can't kill all of them. There are too many. Tarzan not kill all. Some Tarzan kill. Others frightened, go away. But Tarzan, you can't go down there. I, I won't let you. Tarzan must go a little way, kill one, maybe two Gomangani. Then Tarzan go another place. One, two, kill. Some Gomangani frightened, run. Oh, I know. I suppose you must do it to save Daddy. But I'm afraid every moment you're away. Gomangani no see, Jane. Jane, stay here in tree. Jane need not be afraid. I'm not afraid for myself. Not anymore. But if anything happens to you, Tarzan, I don't know what I'd do. Don't be so heedless of danger. No speak. Gorman Ganny, come. You're, you're going to shoot from here? Yes. <laughs> that sounds as if you got him. Yes. Jane, no move. Tarzan, go over there. Oh, be careful. Don't let them see you. Gomangani no see, Tarzan. Only a little bit afraid. Gomangani see, Tarzan. Plenty afraid. Yes, you're right. But do be careful. I'll watch from here. Down below, unseen to Tarzan and Jane, a black is watching. He hears the voices. He sees Tarzan swing his way through the trees, closer to the cave. The warrior steps cautiously into the open, raises his bow, pulls the arrow back to its barbed, poisoned head. A native torch flares up. Jane looks down. She sees the black, knows that the arrow is pointed at Tarzan. A split second's hesitation as the black steadies himself. Enough for Jane. She whips out her revolver. Oh, I hit him. Oh, I hope I was in time. There was no call from Tarzan. He must be all right. But, oh, Tarzan wouldn't call out, even if he were hurt. Jane, all right? Oh. Oh, Tarzan. Oh, my dear. I thought I hardly dared to think... You, you mustn't leave me again. I, I know you're able to look after yourself, but I'm terrified. Terrified for you every moment you're away. No cry. Jane, no cry. Tarzan, stay. Jane, shoot straight. Tarzan, see. I, I hated to do it, Tarzan, but I knew that he could see you. Goldman Ganny, good shot, too. Arrow go whiz. Here, past my head. It, it didn't touch you? No. Dear. What mean, dear? Dear? Dear, I... Why, well, why do you ask? When Jane, very afraid, Jane say, Oh, Tarzan. Oh, my dear. Oh, oh, dear. Yes, dear, dear. Why, uh, why, it's something like a goat, only it isn't a goat. Tarzan not understand. No, I hoped... I mean, I, I thought you wouldn't. Tarzan, look, see below, another black. Shh. Tarzan, kill... Down in the gallery of the cave, Tarzan's call carries to Darno and the party searching for an outlet. 
But that's a mysterious sound. No, no, Dano. That's the call that Calvin makes when he kills. You do not mean to tell me that a human being made that sound? Yes, Dano. Every time the Tarzan makes the kill, he raises his head to the sky and... Well, you heard him. But the important thing is, he's still out there. If he's been there ever since we got Jane's message, they, Tarzan of the Apes and Jane, must be waiting for us. Yes. Yes, Dano. Let's not postpone our treatment of the witch doctor another minute. Let's make him show us some way out of here. All right, come on. Dono, where did you leave the witch doctor? I left him behind the altar with Francois. That's what I thought, but he's not here. But you must be mistaken, Monsieur Clayton. Right there. You, you are right, Monsieur Clayton. Where is Francois? Yes. Where? But it cannot be. They must be here. Francois! 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 Has the witch doctor outwitted Lieutenant Darno and made his way out of the cave? Will Tom...